Welcome to another very interesting HackerRank challenge and this we are going to be inserting a node at the tail of a linked list. Well, I've set up the linked list here and we have only three, uh, only three scenarios. We have where the head is known, where the next is known and where the next dot next is unknown. It could be known but it's unknown. Now let's go back to the question for a minute. It says you are giving a pointer to the head of a linked list and an integer to add to the list. Create a new node with a given integer, insert this node at the tail of the linked list and return the head, the head node of the linked list formed after inserting this new node. The given head pointer may be null, meaning that the initial list could be empty. All right, so let's go to explain it. One thing about a linked list is that we are talking about pointers. So you need to think in terms of pointers. So the scenario one, let me say if, if the head is known, because in the challenge, let's go back, let's go down to this place, we have the head. So they say the head could be known. So in this case, if the head, let me just take a bigger pen. If the head is known, then in this case we are going to meanwhile before you check you need to create a new node using the data you have provided new node is equal to so it, of course you have a singly linked list but let's just call it nodes let's assume the node is a constructor here and provide the data so scenario one if the head is known simply return return the new node because you only have this new node you created and there's no way to insert it so you simply return this new node now we are done with scenario one let's now go to scenario two scenario two says if the head dot next if the head dot next is known of course there's a call to uh, double equals in this case, we are going to add this new node as the next item to the head. So we are going to simply say head dot next is equal to the new node. And you simply return the new node, the, return the head, because you always have to return the head. And the head is a pointer. So whatever you do at the end of this list, you always have to return the head, which is a pointer to the head. So we are going to return the head, okay? Now, this is where we need to uh, understand what we are going to do. So else, so now let's say we have our pointer here. This is the, the head, this, this is the head. At this point, we now have that head.next is not known. So in this case, we have something here. Okay. We have something here. It means that we need to now uh, check what is at this place, whether it's known. Well, if something, if anything here is known, if here is known, we simply uh, insert the new node at this point. But here we now have that we can have several items here. So we need a loop. So before we start the loop, we need to save the head pointer because eventually we are going to iterate to this place. So we need to save this pointer. So let's save this pointer by saving it into node. So I'm going to say else node is equal to head. So we've saved this pointer now and we've created a new pointer called node. So this pointer is what we are going to be using to iterate. All right, so let's talk about the loop. So while, now while something is here, let's just put it this way, while there is something here. So we're going to say while node dot next, right, dot next, dot next twice is not null, right? So if there is something here, we are going to advance our pointer one step. If, if there's something here, we are going to advance our pointer not one step. So while no, uh, the not next at next is known, we are going to simply advance our pointer by saying, and this is our pointer now, this head remains because we don't have to overwrite it. 
So I'm going to say node is equal to node dot next. So in this case, I'm moving the node, the node pointer to this place. And that means that there's something here. So it means that there's something here. There's some nodes right here, right? So that is what it means. So in that case, we've moved one step and we are going to now repeat the process. Let me remove all this. We are going to repeat the process. In this case, we are going to repeat it somewhere here and we don't know what is here. So we are going to continue to do this. We are going to shift, do check.next.next and move into the place and move the window one step until we get to the end of the, until there is nothing there. If there is nothing there at the end of the day, there is nothing there, we simply insert the new node in this place. So we are simply going to say node.next.next is equal to the new node. So because this is where the pointer is, this is the next, and dot next, which is this one, dot next is none, put the new node here, and this is the tail of the list, and simply return the head, right? So that's what you need to always bear in mind. You always have to return the head because it's a pointer. Whatever you are doing here is, is just uh, you are iterating, but the pointer to the head is always what you're going to return. So here we are simply, actually, actually this line of code should be, uh, should be within the while loop. So node.next and, ah, sorry, I think I'm correct. So it should be here. So if this loop ends, then you insert a new node and simply still return ahead. So it's as simple as this. So this is how to insert to a tail of a linked list. And I'm going to go back to HackerRank. Let's write out this code exactly the way we, we, we have described it. And you see that it works fine. So I'm going to kind of uh, uh, fast write it. I'm going to fast forward this video while I write it. And at the end of the day, we are going to run it. So let me just write it and let's see. So this is basically it. So this is exactly what we explained. So if I want to run through, if head is known, return the new node. If head.next is known, uh, insert the new node as the next item else. Save the head, the pointer to the head, and then I trade while head.next.next is not known. Actually, this should be node.next.next, not head.next.next, because we are iterating the node. And then if the head.next.next is, is uh, not known, we simply iterate. Once it gets to known, we simply add the new node and return the head. So let's go ahead to run this code and let's see what we have. So I'm going to hit on the run button. It says in it takes one positional argument, but two was found. So let's see where we have this problem. Okay, so I think I know. So the singly linked list is actually singly linked list node. So this is the actual constructor for this. So I'm going to rerun this code. I'm going to hit and run and you can see it passes the two test cases. I'm going to go ahead to submit and let's see if it passes every other test case. So submit and you can see it passes all the test cases. So this is how to insert at the tail of a link list. We are going to work on further um, uh, challenges. Maybe we are going to insert to the head. We are going to delete items. So I'd like to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thumbs up to you if you've got this far. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. We'll see you in the next part. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.